Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from Bharat, and in this video, we're going to talk about an amazing creation, a really amazing. So, this one is about the Matrix Clock by My Soul 101, and this clock is really a great creation. So here you can see that it seems to be a little slow, but because my screen recorder is taking up a lot of resources so as you can see here the CPU usage is 99% so let me uh, go to details of this project where it is and there are a lot of CMD consoles so this one is taking more CPU so I'll go to its detail just because my computer is not that much resourceful I have to do these extra steps let me increase the priority and affinity okay I don't want it to be a real-time process so in the processes I want my recorder to use less resources so let me provide it with only two cores and priority should be below normal and now you can enjoy the output here you can see that it is displaying numbers and as I'll press space it will change its color so it currently it's 316 pm and you can see here 316 and it is showing the time in 24 hour format so if I'll press space again it will change its color so it will have it has three colors here are the seconds and if I'll press enter the rotation will stop and the matrix clock will work as a simple or a normal clock but if I'll press enter again it will start rotating in the and it seems like it's doing it in the 3d space but it is using this CMD GFX GDI plugin from my soul and to close this clock just press escape and the clock is closed so let me again give the right priority to the recorder and so my recording will not get messed up so let me give it a normal priority and some CPU cores let's have let's have a look at the size and other aspects of the project and as you can see that the total project is of 500 approximate 500 kbs 485 and the project code is of only 3.4 kbs it uses cmd with cmd gfx input and cmd gfx gdi for its proper usage a proper working and here you can see some raw files of a, maybe a, for the 3d elements and here are the object files for those as we have seen one of the other creations of the my soul that was the 3d game in cmd so though that game was also using the object files so the project this project is also using these do, uh, different object files for displaying those numbers in the 3d format a kind of 3d format in the 2d display of the cmd console uh, the matrix effect and the rotation of the clock makes the project more beautiful and i hope you will like this tutorial and the project if you like the project of the, of the programmer please do appreciate their work and give them a thumbs up do comment about what you want more in the project and if you want to know more please leave a comment below so let me open it with sublime text editor and the code you can see is not that much bigger but the technique is of all the worth so here you can see they are setting and here they are trying to use the kind of multi-threading in 
in the CMD or batch environment so here you can see if they are checking if for the first time the double underscore is not defined so they will directly they will define it and start some function calls or the plugin calls in the main code and then they will clear the def definition of those and after clearing the screen and they will close that close that thread because but the thread is not getting closed because here the CMD will get stuck in the plugin for getting multiple outputs and we'll talk about this great plugin in the next video how this is getting input from the user so after that when in the next call it will go to start and then DC condition is enabled and in this in this area some of the settings are being done for the proper functioning of the clock and here's the main loop you can see so in this loop the everything from ro the rotation and the display of the time is getting done so here you can see the time variable is getting saved into timed and the digits are getting extracted from some variables so you can see here a lot of things and the code has higher kind of complexity so I may need some time in order to understand and explain things so for the time I think that's all for this video and the tutorial I hope you like this project and the video if you like the pro work please give the project a thumbs up and comment below your reactions and Please like, please subscribe, please share this video with your friends. I'll see you in the next tutorial.